Okay, this is uh, AB, Calculus AP, take-home test, problem 15. And this equation has to do with solving for K. And I picked this one out, not to do the whole problem, but to kind of get started. And I thought this is a nice little problem. And nice little problem for me is a euphemism for uh, this problem is pretty hard, and probably most of my students are going to have trouble solving this equation without some help solving this problem. So let's talk about what we're doing. We're going to find the equation of a line tangent to this curve y equals kx plus 8 over k plus x at x equals negative 2 if y e and the equation of that tangent line is y equals x plus 4. What is the value of k? Well, first thing I'm going to take note of is this tangent line. All right, The slope of this tangent line is a very important number here, and we have y equals x plus 4, which is 1x, which means the slope of that tangent line, which I'm going to label as m sub t, is 1. Okay. Next, we're going to take the derivative of this function here, and to do that, I'm going to organize this, the numerator and denominator, as high and low. And so our high I'm going to write this just down below here. High is going to be equal to uh, kx plus 8. And our d high, our derivative of our high, is equal to k. Okay, we take the derivative. We just have k because k times x, this x to the first power becomes x to the 0 power. Multiply out front by 1 the 8 goes away. The low of this is going to be k or the denominator k plus x and in taking the derivative, the derivative of the low, now the constant k, the derivative of the constant is going to be 0 and the derivative of x is going to be 1. So d low is 1. And so our y prime is going to be equal to our uh, low, and our low is going to be this guy here, k plus plus x times the derivative of the high, which is k, minus the high, and the high is going to be kx plus 8. KK, KK, I want to put KX. KX plus 8 times the derivative of the low, which is 1, all over this low squared. That's going to be quantity K plus X squared. That's kind of what that looks like. Okay. And let's go ahead and simplify out here. Y prime is equal to, we're going to distribute up top here, we're going to have K times K, which is K squared. And we're going to have K times X, which is KX plus KX. We're going to have uh, minus KX. And we'll have minus 8. And, this, 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 and we have this all over quantity k plus x squared. And there's going to be a cancellation available to us here, which is going to be this uh, kx minus kx, so that'll just go away. And what we can do is set this function, this is at, at the m sub t is 1. So we can do something here where we can set 
m sub t at 1 when x is equal to negative 2. So doing that, we have 1 equals, we have k squared minus Or excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, minus 8 all over k minus 2 because x is 2, right? k minus 2 quantity squared. And so <clears throat> that's what we have. 1 is equal to this. Now, what we have to do is we have our values here. One of these values, when we substitute in, is going to make our this, this relation equal 1. Well, we don't know what case we have to substitute in for k, both in the numerator and the denominator. And when we have the right value of k for the numerator, the k appearing here in the numerator, and this k appearing in the denominator, when that equals 1, we have our correct answer. So that's my approach to it. Uh, good luck in finishing this up and all the other problems. And I thank you for viewing. Take care.